Freenodes initially came as a free app and grabbed a sizable chunk of the market. Now users must pay if they want their ads gone. Technically, the promise for an app that's free forever is still being kept. But what does Freenodes have to offer in 2025? That's what we're going to find out in this video. A handwriting note-taking app with ads is not ideal. Every ad eats into your productivity time, and over time that adds up. But if the ads don't bother you, well, they come once when you open the app. Sometimes they don't even come. You can just use the app for free. There are not a lot of functional handwriting note-taking apps to choose from. Sometimes even paid ones don't work, so we can still appreciate free notes. Still, for $7 a one-time purchase, the price is quite competitive if you don't mind getting stuck in the Apple ecosystem. The app doesn't even have a macOS version yet, so we don't have any hopes of seeing it on any other platform anytime soon. Freenotes is one of the most modern and minimalist handwriting apps on the iPad, which is expected seeing it is also such a young app. Its floating toolbar goes on any side of the screen and it blends well with the background and pages, unlike in other apps. The third toolbar feels like a duplicate of the second, and that can feel a bit redundant, which is why we always turn it off. And we love that we have that option to turn it off. Theme colors are always fun to play around with, even if they don't change everything and I rarely use them. Why do they skip some parts though? Some of our team members really love the themes, but some of us, not so much. Are you a theme human or not? Do tell. The app has a decent page template collection, but few page size options. You will like the app if you love color though, because you have it for your background, lines on your paper templates, and even covers. Freenotes has two pen types, which in most cases would be too little for serious note-taking, but the amount of customization you get for the fountain pen is incredible. Motion smoothness, tip adjustment, pressure sensitivity, and opacity. You will have to spend a bit of time learning the terms in the app though. I'm getting tired of complaining about this honestly. Opacity, which the developers have conveniently called concentration, is available for all your writing tools, pencil and highlighter included. The number of color palettes you have in the app, yet your toolbar can only carry three at a time. How does that even work? At least the eraser supports the scribble to erase gesture. Not sure if it makes anything better, but um, yeah, it's selective for the highlighter and tape too. So quite a functional eraser. Your ink in Freenotes does not pixelate when you zoom in on your pages. You can zoom up to 800% and it feels like 800%. The app doesn't have a zoom window, which most note-takers love, because it is a tendency of making our handwriting better. Unfortunately, in free notes, you won't have that superpower. Attachments for your notes are not particularly great. Shapes are terrible. Consider them unavailable if you want to use the app. We can't expect much for text in a handwriting note-taking app. The best you get is the ability to save your favorite textiles from very little styling. You can add photos, stickers, and audio recording. Without handwriting sync or transcription, audio recording is practically useless in 2025. There is more missing for your photos than what's available. But if all you need is just adding photos to your notes, free notes is not a bad choice. It is a second handwriting note-taking app we know that supports videos, though. 
The app doesn't add them the same way that Apple Notes does, but it's great that we can watch videos from within the app. You can't take that away from the app. It's amazing. Though the colors for tape and free notes are fixed, it has a decent number of patterns to choose from. At least it's not just one pattern like you get with most apps. After that, everything about the tape is quite standard. Freehand and straight tape that you can show and hide at once. It works for active recall. Freenos does not search through your handwriting. The text that it does search doesn't have a preview for the results. You do get some filters that make it easier to find what you're looking for. Universal Search organizes your results, which is great. The big question is, do you need handwriting search? If the answer is yes, then free notes aim for you. What is the point of rotating a page if its notes don't rotate with it? I suppose you have to rotate the page before writing any notes on it and never rotate it afterwards. And Uncle Dan couldn't believe how he ruined his notes rotating them. That's when the undo button comes in handy. At least you can add space around your pages if you need it. That could make up for the limited page rotation. The only problem is it's for the whole notebook. You can't apply it to a single page. And it doesn't crop your pages either. It only expands them. Not many handwriting note-taking apps can do that, so it makes for a compelling reason to consider the app. Vision history is yet another reason to consider free notes in 2025. The app keeps up to eight versions of your notes that you can revert back to if you ever need to. We've not seen version history in a handwriting note-taking app yet. The hyperlinks for linking the ideas in your notes are also great. They make it easy to connect information in your notes to make sense of it. Those are great organizational options to have. An in-app web browser, half decent OCR that converts your handwriting to text, and a timer that you can put anywhere on your screen all make free notes a great app to consider for a handwriting note-taking app in 2025. AI will cost you a little extra, starting from $40 a year if you pay it at once. You won't be collaborating with anyone though, and your export options aren't great. If none of that phases you, then you definitely need to try free notes. You have nothing to lose. <laughs>